Then your life changes and it starts with you. Thank you. Well, I think we have a great show for you today, folks. Okay, you're all going to be excited. We have two designers coming in. Our topic today is websites. What makes a good website? What makes a bad website? Our first designer, her name is Samantha. She's from Boston. She designed the website from Boston University. Can I have a round of applause for Samantha? Thanks very much, Samantha, for coming on the show. You're welcome. So, Samantha, tell me, you all have a good design program now we're in Boston. What makes a good design website? Well, Dr. Phil, a good website for our students is like a sanctuary to them. When they have these incredibly busy lives, they need something very clean and very, like, the typography is so consistent that they don't even know what to do about it. It's just like, it's so clean. And their lives are so dirty. So, Samantha, what are some of the important things you all think that the students need to know when they're looking at the website? The interactivity of our website is just amazing. I mean, it's really just not a big deal, but it's the bomb. My name is Professor Victor Coelho, and I'm the chairman of the Music Ecology Department at Boston University and professor of music. If kids they just want to be interactive, you know? They want to push buttons and like have things move. And that's what we're all about. We're all about catering to the kids. So our next guest is Francine from Syracuse, who is also a designer who designed the website for the school. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for Francine. Dr. Phil, my man, what is up? What is up? Samantha, good to see you again. Have a seat, please. So, Francine, the word on the street is that your website just doesn't hold its own up to other websites like Boston University. What do you have to say to that? P personally, personally, Dr. Phil, I, I beg to differ. I think our website speaks quite quite nicely for the, uh, the type of person we're looking to come to Syracuse. Basically, Dr. Phil, what we have here is uh, Syracuse is it's orange and blue, and that's pretty much what we did for our, that, 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 that's our theme. That's, uh, that's pretty much the only thing that we have going for us right now. And, you know, who says that orange type isn't good? Oh. Orange type can be good. Hey, it can be good. All right, we, I think we do it in a nice way. Uh, what also I really like about our website is that uh, we're, we're a pain in the ass, you know? Like, if we have great sports teams, but if you want to get tickets, <laughs> you're not going to get any tickets because you can't on our website. Hey, I young like lady, that. Uh, you're going to have like to watch that. your language on I that think show. that that's good. You know, it really makes our students think and work. If you want to search something, you're not going to find it. We, we don't like to give the answers. We uh, we charge our students 45 G's to go here every year. I mean, not just, you know, every year. So uh, what, what we like to do is really just keep it down to earth, low budget, really low budget on the website. We think that that's going to reflect, you know, the type of person, you know, we, we got money here, but we're not going to flash it to you. We're going to give you a <laughs> website. Is our website constantly screaming? I love that. I think uh, it speaks uh, all right, to that, that's our enough. customer. You know, we that, constantly that's scream. That's enough. Can, can we get her? We love I, the I can't have this swearing we on my show. To scream. Can we, can we scream. get her please, off? Please, please, can can please, we get her please, off? Please, I can't please, have this please, on the show. I just, I, I just can't. Not good. Not good. You. We're done. We're done. Keep it moving. Come on. I got more to say to him. No, come on. Our website. Camera's on. I would like to apologize to my viewers. Her behavior was absolutely despicable, and I wish there was something I could do about it. It's just despicable, and it insults my intelligence and insults your intelligence as viewers. It's despicable, and I assure you that it won't happen again. But I would like to thank my guest, Samantha, for giving her insight on what is good design and what is bad design, and I will see you all next week. Thanks for coming. Let's go! What you know about me? What you what you know about me? What you know about me? What you what you know? It's that my lip gloss is cool. My lip gloss be popping.